Hello and welcome. My name is Peter, and I'm the one to show you how to add to add to wishlist function in your website. On click on it, it will a message like this or view. Once the product has been successfully added to wishlist, you can see you can be directed to this wishlist page. And I'm going also to show you how to add it on the shop page, and you can also click on it, and the product be removed from the wishlist. I'll also show you how to add it on a single product. You can see on select on this here, you can add to wish list. And you can also select many variations like this is a variable product. You can see you can be able to add to wish list. I will also show you how to add it on the menu. Here you have it. Click on it here. And you can be able to direct it to wish list table. You can it will have much function like you'll be able to customer can select on it and select a bulk action and you can add to cut all of them you can remove them you can be able to select like one shoe in your wish list then add to cut and proceed to checkout or you can add to all of them and you can proceed to checkout you can also select it also has this function here like add to cut on each product once you select on if you selected add to selected to cut you just proceed to check out it will also have this option to share on your social media that the work for today and let's get into action remember to subscribe to my channel for more tutorial that you will follow I did a, I listened to did a tutorial on how to create an e-commerce website is the link on the description and know how to add such uh, to create such a an e a beautiful e-commerce website oh, but on today's we are want to add this add to wish list button from here you can see we don't have it and if even if you open a single product we don't have add to wish list button this is a valuable product I also I did a, I recently also did a tutorial on how to cre create such a valuable product you can see once you select a certain color you see this product has different uh, different pricing and different stocks and even if you select in this one it also also has a different uh, pricing if you click on it you see this button just don't become active until you select another product you can see this one comes with a different pricing and this one comes with a different pricing and different in stock so you can see this is two in stock uh, and the other one is five in stock learn how to create such a variable product on the using the link on the description but on this tutorial we want to add this r2 which is button you see we don't have it from here so what you need to do is go to dashboard and scroll to plugin add a new plugin Type search for wish list. From that, you you can see we have many suggestions about the wish list, but the one we want is called TI wish list. It has more than seventy thousand active installation. Last updated one the one month ago from the day I'm doing this tutorial. So we install this we install this plugin. After successful installation, we activate the plugin. After that, you'll be directed to this setup wizard. So we click let's go and we set up the wizard. So different default wish list name, you can let it be wish list. This my wish list page. So we don't have the uh, you can see we don't have the wish list page from here. So what you need to do, create automatically. After that, position of the button just leave it the way they are and we are going to set everything later and click continue until now you set everything is lead so we need to go back to wordpress dashboard so let's let's load the shop page you 
you can see now we have add to wish list button on this section and on this section and if we open this variable product here you see we have add to wish list button once you just select product it can be added to wish list if if you just select another one you see it can be added to wish list so what we need to do i want to customize this uh add to wish list i want to be i want it to be here so what we need to do is we go to wish list and we select general setting so default default name let it be wish list default page let it we have already created you see now we have this wish list wish list uh, page now active do you want someone to be logged in before adding a pro uh, product to wish list if you click on it you disallow guests from using wish list functionality until they sign in so i want it to be off show link to wish list in my account yes remove product from if added to cut let it be if the product has been added to wish list let's add to wish list let's go back to shop and let's load this one if this product is added to wish list like this and you add it to cart like that it just be removed from the wish list you see now it has been added but it has been removed from wish list i want it to be just like that the dialect to check out page from wish list if added to cart let be yes or just leave it yes so you need to just select this option here view view card for you to now continue and proceed to payment option you see now but if you click on this button here yes once the product from the wish list has been added to cart it will be just directed to checkout page let it be off removed by anyone let it be remain closed and the other one, option remain closed if this wish list button text let it be view wish list but you can uh you can change it but i want it to be like that product added to wish list let it mean like that product already in the wish list if you add a product in the wish list uh, if the product is already on the wish list let it show you the uh let the pro uh, the text be main already in the wish list let's come here and say remove product from the wish list on the second tick let it be yes but if you close it you see you see this option changes yeah you see product already in the wish list if you activate uh if you activate this remove to uh remove from the wish list on the second tick the, this option just changes let's activate that and once you save it let me show you what we have just created so once you're here let's go to shop once you add a product wish list you have this option to remove it by clicking here yeah so the other thing we need to do is now you scroll back to product page at wish list button this uh this this product page this single product page let's load this one you see this is where we have add to wish list in between add to cart after after the add to add to cart i want it to be before add to cart so i come here and select before add the car so you can add your custom css i don't have it add to wish list button i want a heart and a positive a plus sign add to wish list icon color you can use your either white or black or use the front use the front color so after that scroll now to add to wish list button text let it be add to wish list 
remove from wish list let it remove remain like that that is on this single product that is on this single product page let's save and and check so let's refresh this and see if this has changed from this position to here you can see let's select you see now it has a plus sign and add to wish list and once you add it you can be able to remove it from here yeah you see that what we have just created from there now wish list product listing does this remain the same wish list table setting this from here let's add some few product to wish list let's add few and we check so view the wish list so this is the wish list table from here so what do you want show the checkbox this checkbox let me mean like that the other thing is so action pattern apply action this one you can add to cut or remove once you select the checkbox you can select this action box let it mean like that show add selected to cut button this one once you select you select like two product from here you just select like that you can add selected let it mean like that show add all to cut button yeah this one you let it be there and add all to yeah sure you have set that one you can add uh your custom text but i want it to be i want them to remain like that from there leave other this setting like the way they are from there we go to wish list counter product this mostly happen uh on this it should have assigned uh it depends on them you're using it has a wish list button here so let it be a hard plus it shows it should show here with a plus a uh, plus sign and shows the number of the product from the wish in there the pro number of product in the wish list so counter let us use the front color wish list counter text yeah you can see let it mean like that add the add to counter to menu let it be like that like that like that let add this add to wish list to our menu what we need to do is we come to appearance let's find for uh, the appearance section where you have the appearance and you go to menu so what you need you can see this one is a custom is already there so we save the setting yeah supposed to show support show up let's refresh the page yeah you see now we have a to wish list button here let's move this word here wish list to general setting and scroll down and remove this word wish list or you can leave it the way they are you can see now it's active so there then we go to style option you can style you can set uh, your color you can set the color and everything but i want it to be made like that you can import and export setting and you can upgrade to premium but for now me i believe in this uh in this free version it works very well let's now test everything go to shop my shop you see wish list 
or you can remove this wish list word let's remove it i don't know why assuming this but let's remove wish list and we save the setting we leave we will be left by an icon this icon here let's see. yeah you see now you have this icon once on click it they just direct you to this wish list page what if you just add the word wish list it just give you the same same option so it is called add to counter menu so wish list counter text we say my wish list and we update so it will look good when you add like that to what you see now it works very well so let's select and do it in action you can select apply an action and you go to shop we select this variable product and we add a green shoe number four and we add wish list and we clear this and we select a red shoe number 10 and we add wish list and we add our final yellow shoe number seven and we add to wish list you can view it from here and you see the product are being added you can select few of them and you proceed you add selected to cut or you can add from here on this section and you can and once you click once you click uh, once you add to wish list you can share your wishes to this uh to this selected social media uh site and with that you on on with and and with that you have just learned how to add a wish list button in your uh, wish list function in your website it's very easy use the use the tutorial to uh to advance much of your skill and remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you thought it, if you think it's, uh, it's helpful for you remember to like this video is of if it is of much help to you remember to share it to your friends like on facebook on twitter and turn on the notification for you to be notified whenever i post a new video thank you